Hush, y'all. Hush. Now, listen, as promised, we have a very, very special guest with us today. She is a personal friend of mine. And if you know her, she really doesn't need any introduction. But here we go anyway. She's a Grammy-nominated singer, an Emmy-nominated TV personality, and now you can go ahead and add actor to my sister's resume because my girl is killing it on the big screen, too. Y'all give a round of applause for my girl, my sister from another mister, Tamar Braxton! <laughs> oh, yes, honey, oh, yes. That was an introduction, I'll take that. Oh, you like that? Ooh, Did you I like that? It. Tamar! Sister! Sister, when I tell you I love you like a fat you know little chocolate, you back. I love you so much. You know, I'm always honored to share any space that I can with you because what people really don't understand is you are a legend within your own right. Aww. Like legend. Not only are you the uh, creator and the producer of the Braxton family values, because see, a lot of people don't really know that. T. They don't, you don't think they know that? A lot, a lot of people really don't know <laughs> that Tamar Braxton is the creator and producer <clears throat> of the uh, Braxton family values. And Tamar and Vince. And Tamar and Vince. But, you know, you are from a legendary family that has, like, Grammys and, yeah. and, 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 girl, you are Tony Braxton's sister. Yeah, I have a, an amazing pedigree. I'm really grateful. So I know I have a personal question that I've never asked you, uh -oh. and, and the longevity of us being friends. Okay. How is it being, how has it felt being Tony Braxton's sister? Well, the truth is, um, she's Tony Braxton to you all, but she's my sister to me. So um, growing up, I had no idea she was famous. Really? I had no idea. Yeah, I, it didn't really dawn on me until that record Let It Flow, and then I became a, a fan. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, otherwise I didn't care. <laughs> so you became a fan of your sister? Yeah, I became a fan of her music. Of her like, music? Like just listening to it just because. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, she's my oldest sister and someone I'm really, really close with, and it had nothing to do with like what she did for a living because we're always together. Yeah, and I, I, I remember myself watching clips of you guys yeah. um, from back in the day, and you all were singing, and there was this one clip in particular mm -hmm. where I saw a young, young Tamar. Uh huh. <laughs> you were, I was like, wait, is that Tamar? Oh my God, what was I doing? Girl, Actually. you were in the background and you were singing and, oh. and stuff like this. And, and so, you know, I've always been so, engulfed with uh, a love for your family because yeah. Tony Braxton is like one of my favorite artists. But then when I had the opportunity to hear you belt, I said, ooh, <laughs> hold on a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute, she ain't nothing to play with. Well, you know, my okay? sister had nothing to do with me wanting to be a singer. Had everything to do with me watching Star Search at about six years old. Really? Really, really. And um, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. It was never a question. Like even like when I was in um, high school and my teachers would be like, what college are you going to? I'm like, what do you mean college? They don't have Superstar 101. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was very, very adamant and serious. So I had nothing to do with her. I wasn't even a fan of her music yet. But you became a fan later on. Yes, I the, did. the more she grew into becoming For sure. For a sure. Tony Braxton. Okay. Right. My favorite song, As Long As I Live, It Will Never Get Old. It, you know that song? Can you get- As Long As I Live, As Come. Long As I I'll never get over. It's such a cute key. Did I'll never get over you getting over me as long as I live. I'm sorry, hello. Wait, <laughs> did y'all hello? Did y'all listen? Did y'all just hear that throatage that just happened right there? That's it not was a my very, song. It was a very small throatage that just happened. You oh, know. it's not my song. But I saying. like the way you just gave me that rendition of it. Ooh, that just made me want to fall in love for a second. Really? Yeah. You want to fall in love? Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that oh, soon. Okay. We'll talk about it. But listen, Tamar, <laughs> I really want to ask you a few questions okay. that's been like pondering in my spirit. I want to know how you really, really are doing. Because uh, the past two years, or the past few years, yeah. have been really kind of like roller coasterish for you. So how, as my sister, in front of all these large audience of people watching, how are you really doing? Well, I'm doing amazing. You know, I've been through extensive therapy. I'm still in extensive therapy. It's not as often um, as I used to go because I used to go every single day. Yes, every single day because, I mean, it was really that bad. I was really that lost. And everything was a question, every single aspect of my life because you have to understand I went through this whole mental 
uh, breakdown and then a huge breakup, a public breakup back to back. And, you know, just for the regular person, if you can imagine, you know, being that mentally ill and then, you know, basically losing the love of your life and your family being, you know, all over the place, um, it's very, um, you know, disturbing. It's very tough. But what caused your, your mental breakdown? Well, you know, it was just years and years of toxic behavior, toxic surroundings. On television? On, on and off television, because you have to understand, you know, my family show is my family. Yes. <laughs> Yes. You know, and uh, the more, you know, I lost control over that situation, the more toxic it became. Like, if people think if you have money, people think if you have a career, people think if you have the large house and the car and the credit and bags and shoes, that your life is figured out and you're great. That is the trick of the enemy. Yes. It really, truly is. It is very much so. It really is. Um, you can have all of those things and they don't matter. In that moment, it didn't matter. My bags and my shoes were all over the room. I could care less. Where was I going? <laughs> Where was I going? Where was I wearing them to? Well, you look great now. Thank you. And you're glowing. And I'm doing great. I, and I feel great. I feel the best that I've ever felt in a long time. I want you to really elaborate a little bit more. Well, on when that. we're growing up, we fall under the doctrine and the teachings of our grandparents or our aunties and our mother and father and whatever they've been taught or, or whatever they know. But, you know, not until I was, you know, down on my face by myself, broken and bruised, did I find God. I didn't find God in the church. I found him at home with nothing. Yeah. It's, and, you know, I had to meet him on my level. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So I didn't meet him the traditional in church shouting yeah, on my knee. No, I didn't. Like, I was at my lowest point, and I heard him speak to me, and we started to have a conversation. And that's where I found him. So, what did, so after he told you to get up, yeah. what, did, what, what was your next step? Oh, I got up because it felt like a granddaddy, a grandmother, an auntie, a mother. It was very authoritative. And uh, I don't think I've ever told anyone this. Come but on, tell us. It broke me down. Like, it's almost like the water. I know it sounds weird. It's almost like the water was like singing or like worshiping or I can't really just put it into words. But I knew that, you know, it was time to stop the shenanigans and just. But Tamar, trust. What, what shenanigans were you doing? Was it a facade? Was no, it... the shenanigans that I have it all figured out and that I didn't need help uh. <laughs> and that I had enough help. That part. Got it. Yeah. I got yeah, it. Yeah, and then I got really, really serious about my mental health, about, you know, going into counseling and, um, you know, about God. Yeah. And about myself. Now, listen, you've talked a lot about somebody losing you and they, if they lost and, like, honey, put a ring on all this stuff. So uh, give me the tea. Oh, it's a lot of tea. And, uh, are, you, are you actually seeing someone no, right I'm now? Not. So you're single. Single, super single, which sucks because I have an amazing partner. Yeah. You know, I don't, a lot of ladies don't like to agree with me, but I don't acquire to be an alpha female. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I am an alpha person. No, I don't want to be that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, a, I'm an alpha TS. Oh, well, okay. let me explain to you why. I enjoy cooking and cleaning and being there for my man and I, coming home from the office or coming home from being in my creative space and having this important role that somebody really appreciates. That's, about sister, me. that's a lot. No, I really enjoy sister, it. Sister, that's a lot. I enjoy it. I know you might enjoy it, and but, but that is that is a lot to do. <laughs> I think that the only person that needs to be submitted to is someone that's worth being submitted to. Oh, come on with the Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> Hello, I'm not saying for somebody that don't appreciate me, that's why I'm in the position that I'm in. Right, okay. <laughs> so how would someone special get your attention? I'm old school, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you like me unless you give me some money. <laughs> how do I know? How do I know you like me if you don't send me a gift and give me some money, how? I can tell that you've been around the girls, honey, by your proper use of our lingo. Since the seventh grade. So in order for us to get, like, the proper terms, this is why we're going to play the Queen's English. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, let me get my cards here. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know we, you know, we still trying to get a professor to try to get it right. <laughs> All right. And we've been drinking a lot, honey. In now, the afternoon. In the afternoon. <laughs> Here's how to play. 
I have some flashcards here with common expressions from the community. We'll take turns giving each other a word or a phrase along with a scenario for the other to use properly in a sentence. All right, here's the term that we're gonna start out with, for filth. Um, or, and you gotta use for filth, for filth. describing that. Like, um, um, let me think of a good person. You um, know how to do this. Your hair stylist, beat your hair for fat. Yes, that's how it works. That's it. That's how that goes. All right, come on. All right. Okay. All right. The next term that we have is yes, God. What? So a fine brother walks by smelling good, and he Amen. is dressed to the nines. Holiness. Use that in a sentence. Girl. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Give it to me. I have seen this. Bye, Nigerian man oh. walking past. <laughs> and I just knew that he was carrying something, okay? And I was like, oh, yes, God! <laughs> yes! That's how you use, yes, God, in a sentence. Yes, God! Okay. 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 No, no, no. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Okay, now the next term that we have okay. is, it's giving me very much so. Oh! So it's giving me very, very much, much so. Very much so. All right. So here's the scenario. A friend has a new hair color that resembles someone you know. Oh. So girl, I had one over Jessica House, and let me just tell you something. It's given very much so um, single black female. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. There we go. OK. Oh, wait a minute, honey. It's giving very much so a war in the back. It's giving very much so somebody put the cup down. It's giving. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, that was the last term that, that we had. The, for all right, now, Maddie, I have a game for you. This is a little bit of trivia. Okay, so come it's on. A little bit different. Child, I'm nervous. Let me take I a sip. I am going to give you a term or a phrase, like a scenario, and you got to tell me what that is. Okay, come on. Let's do it. Got to give me a definition. Okay. I'm excited. Come on, let's do it. All right. So describe someone's performance using the word slay. Girl, let me tell you something. That performance, honey, that you had gave when you were on tour with the girls from Escape Girl, honey, <laughs> you had slayed that I did. girl. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. You had <laughs> slayed that girl. Okay, okay, okay. I only have like two more. Okay, okay. come on, come on. So use the term or phrase that best describes what I'm going to read to you. Someone who comes across very masculine in the public, but has a very feminine side in private. Oh, girl, it's given very much so butch queen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't okay, wait for the last so one. Good, so Ooh, good, what's the so last one? What's good. the last one? Okay, okay, one last one. Use the term or the phrase uh -huh, that best okay. describe what I'm reading. Okay, come on. The head of the squad or the group, usually the matriarch figure of a bunch. I'm gonna give you some twerking, um, whistling music. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I got it. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's giving mother. Yeah. Yeah. 